folks, welcome back to uh, the Guitar Woodshed. Mark here. Um, Want to talk a little bit today about physical gear, uh, mainly amplifiers and effects pedals. So today I'm using my American Strat, and uh, I've had this thing since like 1999, I think. And uh, I just started playing it again, and uh, I think it's a '94 though, um, but I bought it in like '99. So, anyway, uh, Shoreline Gold, I, I dropped some new pickups in here, there's Texas Specials in here, which I'm thinking about swapping out again, because pickups are, um, you know, kind of the, I guess the, the transmission to your, <laughs> to your instrument, um, as far as performance and everything. So, um, yeah, just a, a simple American Strat, and uh, I am, you know, wanting to talk to you guys a little bit about how I interact with my gear. Alright, so the kind of music that I'm playing is, is a lot more so blues and funk, R&B and rock kind of based. So the tones that I'm, I'm looking for are not necessarily high gain saturated tones. I am looking for a little bit of dirt and hair on the instrument. So if you're talking about those, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of... <laughs> that kind of thing, that's what I want. So when I'm cranked all the way up, I can still get cleaner kind of tones, but it's got a lot of, little bit of bite to it. And that was on the neck pickup, by the way. That was on the uh, bridge. Basically, I'm going for that. Now, with my pedal board, I'm going to show you guys that in a minute, um, but I'm really only using, if I have any sort of like uh, distortion or gain boxes, or any overdrive, I should say, it's mostly using it as a transparent kind of clean boost to push um, the front of my amp a little bit harder, with a little bit of gain dialed in. So I have two different uh, overdrive pedals, and I'll show you how I use them as far as like the first gain stage and the second gain stage. Um, and I really want to kind of take it up to that next level. So, what I want to talk about a little bit is about amplifiers, too. So, this right here, this amp, is uh, by a company called Synaptic, and I use it pretty much in all of my videos. Um, but what I want you guys to see is pretty much what the amp um, is and how simple the amp is. It's just a one channel amp, and I'm basically, I barely have. Um, the level turned up on this. It's kind of almost like a master uh, volume kind of situation, but what uh, Synaptic calls it is uh, power staging. Um, so it, it's almost like an attenuator built into it, kind of, if you want to think about, about it that way. So let me show you this thing and um, we'll talk about how I'm using it. Alright, here we go. So here is my amp. It's a custom amp. Um, by Synaptic, and that's their cool brand right there, and like literally a brand, a burnt-in brand, and this beautiful piece of bird's eye maple. Um, I dubbed this Sky Tone, so Mark Hopkins Sky Tone, um, Sky for my daughter, uh, that's her name, and uh, yeah, so um, here we go. So the the situation with these controls, like very very simple. You see, you got your EQ. Um, right here, and this is more or less like the master volume, okay? So this is going to control how much output I'm getting out of the amp. This over here, which I think Steve and I are going to redo this front panel, um, and instead of calling it level, I might dub it dirt or hair. <laughs> and uh, this controls the amount of, uh, um, you know, preamp drive. Uh, that I'm getting out of the amp, and obviously here's a, a bright switch. I've got it down, um, you know, when I'm using single coils, and I pop it up to bright when I'm using my uh, SG. Um, the cabinet is uh, has this, you know, similar bird's eye brand on it. Piece of wood, it's beautiful, and um, it's got that kind of voxy grill cloth, which is pretty rad. Amp looks pretty retro. Um, it is outfitted with a Weber Legacy, I believe. Um, 
in the back there was a, um, a Weber Blue Dog, which I liked a lot, that I had in a different amp. But I popped the Legacy in there. Alright, so here's, here's the amp in a nutshell. There you go. Focus, focus, focus. Alright, so, you know, I wanted to have a, a pretty retro-looking amp, and I think... I think he captured that pretty well with the, uh, I wanted red Tolex because I wanted something that was like outlandish and in your face. Alright, let's check out the back of the amp. So, it's an open back cabinet, which I like. Um, it is made in the USA, which we also like. Um, you can set it for 16, 8, or 4 ohms. Um, there's, you know, two uh, outputs for cabinet. And then I have an effects loop built in which I use strictly for my reverb pedal. Um, that's basically it. I don't get too nerdy with it. I just use it for that. Inside, there's a Mercury Transformer. Um, we've got three power tubes and three preamp tubes. Um, and, uh, yeah, man. It's a very simple Class A point-to-point hand-wired uh, amp. And... Um, does the job pretty well. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to turn this off and I am going to show you guys my pedal board and we'll talk a little bit about tone. All right. The Mighty Pedal Case. So first of all, I highly recommend, sorry for the shadow, Pedal Train products. Um, this is just, you know, been my favorite pedal board thus far. I'm going to spin around and keep it in the gray. So you don't get freaked out, dizzy. Um, Got to have the band sticker on there. All right, and here it is. So it's a very sturdy case. It's got a great egg crate, um, you know, foam to keep the pedals from coming off the board. And yeah, let's walk through just a little bit what I got going on here. So um, bullet cables are great. I use these for. Uh, um, you know, direct connection uh, from guitar to pedal or guitar to amp always. It's great, and they're, they're funky, and they look cool. Um, monster cables. Jimmy Fallon would love that. Uh, okay, so first and foremost, I'm running into my Buddha Wah, um, which is the, it's the original Buddha Wah. Um, very vocal-like quality for into Wah pedals. I recommend this guy for sure. Um, very smooth, um, not noisy at all. Uh, great pedal. Um, then you got your old, extremely dirty TS9, uh, which is a standard, great, fantastic pedal. I usually, what I do as far as you can see here, um, I don't know if these have moved at all. So this is the the gain, this is the level, and this is the tone. I usually keep this gain pretty low. I mean, I usually have it at about 9 o'clock. And then I keep this as like almost like a clean boost, a little bit of a boost from my uh, signal that's going from my amplifier. So that's how I use that. Sometimes, every now and again, in, in like recording sessions, I'll turn this up. Um, you know, if I want to get a specific tone for a rhythm track or whatever. Then that goes into this, which is the Klon Centaur. Um, which is also a little dirty. Um, but this I use, here's gain, treble, and output. Um, this I use, I put a little bit more dirt on this and um, crank the treble up just to cut a little bit more. This pedal actually, I mean, coveted by a lot of different, you know, guitar magazines and players from all over the world, from people from like Warren Haynes uses them and John Mayer, and I heard about it back in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, this guy Chuck Garvey that plays with this band, Mo, told me about it, and then I looked into it. At that time, I think I got this in like 2001 or 2002, um, I paid, I think it was like 300 bucks for these, and then he stopped making them, now he's remaking uh, a new version of it, but the uh, silver came after the gold model. Um, which had the little uh, centaur on the actual pedal. It's gold plate and everything. Anyway, still a great pedal. Um, a lot of people don't believe it's the real actual one, but this is the actual one that I got. So, there you go. There's your proof, people. Um, Alright, and then this goes just to my tuner. Um, 
this is on my board. I use this every now and again, depending on um, what, what I'm feeling that night. It's just a, a vibe, like a univibe, uh, and uh, small footprint. It sounds great, as opposed to my full tone Deja vibe, which takes up a lot of space and is heavy, heavy, heavy. All right, MXR, carbon copy. Um, I use this, you can probably see from the settings, use it a lot for slapback delay, which I love. Um, and for the money, this thing is awesome. I, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. And then I go over here, and this is a Mogerfoger ring modulator. And I use this for two things. Use it for tremolo. Um, very hard cutting tremolo and smooth tremolo, as well as ring modulation, which I found out Wayne Krantz uses these uh, for the for the ring mod stuff, and it's just killer. It's just a really cool pedal. There's a lot you can do with it, not just the the funky alien sounds of the ring mod, but there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do. And then lastly, uh, I think I mentioned this before with my amp and my effects loop. I use this for reverb. Usually, just keep it on. Um, Right now it's been moved around, but spring or a plate or hall is what I'll use, depending on the room, because um, every place sounds different. Basically get it to the point where my ears are, are digging what I hear, and then I uh, roll with it. So sometimes no reverb um, for some rooms, and TC Electronic makes that, and they make fantastic stuff, so I, I definitely think you should check that out. A lot more pedals in the closet, but these are the ones that are currently on the board, if anybody has any um, recommendations of other stuff I could check out, I think I might dig. Definitely let me know. I love gear and it's fun stuff. So, um, yeah, this is just currently what I'm using right now. And uh, that and my old trusty um, Synaptic amp, which you guys saw before. So, uh, these guitars are going to be packed up and the amp's going to be packed up for the gig tomorrow night. And uh, this is the rig that I'll be using. So let me know, guys, what you guys are using. Really curious to see what everybody's using with for amps, guitars, pedals. And uh, we'll continue with the educational material next time. See you guys later. You were there when the fire started with a pack of matches in your hand. You said you got it from that bar where you got a number from a man. You said that you're an innocent You got an alibi on speed dial They'll be the judge and the jury